XRL has been around for quite a number of years. It was the second iteration of the Group 28 chemistry. It's actually cross-spectrum, so it's given the opportunity to pick up your sucking and rasping pests. We've got over-larvicidal activity right through to each of the larval stages. One of the great advantages of it in the broadacre space is the fact that it's, it's one of the softer chemistries. We're able to pick up aphids as well as picking up caterpillar pests without interfering with residential predators. You don't want to be knocking out your residential predators too early in a piece. Bottom line is, is that they don't cost anything to maintain. And in most crops that have a pest, there will be naturally be predators. They operate in windy days. They operate on wet days. If you can't get into the paddock, they're still there helping to maintain a level of control. One of the advantages of XRL is that it has a, a translaminar activity, which means it's actually travelling from one side of the leaf to the other, which is often where pests will, will reside. But that also gives it a rainproofness. But the other thing is that it's actually moving in the xylem or in the water flow. So it's actually moving up in the plant. So it's giving you longer residual activity. So it, in that case, it's, it's giving you really good robustness for a length of time. And we're actually recommending that you mix it with parachute. That is insecticidal activity in itself, but it also gives the ability to, to spread across the leaf better, which means that with a lower water rate, you're actually getting better coverage. Not only are you getting better spreading, you're actually getting better efficacy. You're actually maintaining the XRL in aqueous state on the plant for longer, which allows more of it to move into the plant.